In this video I'm going to custom cut one of these LED strips. And I don't mean custom cut where the strip is designed to be cut. No, that's way too easy. I'm talking about custom cutting in between those marks. To give you some background, this is a sign that I put an LED strip in, but I couldn't control the size of the sign because I bought it from a place that already built them up and then they just put the names on them. So as luck would have it, the inside dimension is such that the LED strip stopped here because that's where the cut point was and if I would have continued on it would have overlapped quite a bit. And these are SMD 3528 strips. I could have used SMD 5050s because their cut points are closer together but they also take more current and I'm battery operating this so I wanted something that was took less power so that's why I, I stuck with the 3528s. Now when I looked at the strip that I have it's interesting because we have a 6 inch strip and then the next cut points are 4 inch then it goes back to 6 inch then it goes back to 4 inch again so it may very well be when you route your project try it first with a 4 inch at the end and if that gets you close enough fine or if not try it with a 6 inch at the end so if you start with a 6 inch strip the cut points of course will be 6 inches 10 inches, 16, 20, 26, 30, or if you start with a 4 inch strip, it'll be 4 inches, 10, 14, 20, 24, 30, and so on. But as I said, I'm going to cut this actually between the cut points because I need two extra inches. Now, if you look at this 4 inch strip, we have a red, green, blue light, and a red, green, blue light. And then we have the three resistors here. And these three resistors take care of both of these sets of lights. And we want to cut it right between the two. So we want to take this 4 inch strip and cut it into a 2 inch strip. When I do that, these LEDs will not work. So what we have to do is go in here and custom rewire the strip back together. Now when you cut these strips, you must always leave the resistors in place. So in other words, if I cut here, this side is going to be scrap and this side is going to be the good side. If it was the other way around then it wouldn't work because we need the dropping resistors. So we have our strip here uh, that we got powered just before we do the cut. We have LEDs lit along the whole entire length and I'm going to put my thumb here over the 4 inch strip and so with the 4 inch strip we have one set of RGB and then a second set of RGB and I'm going to cut right in the middle here I'm going to power the strip again. You see we lost the last three LEDs because this made part of the circuit. And this drawing is of the back side of the LED strip. So the little devices here, we have a blue LED which is the larger one and the narrow one is the resistor. And for green and red and so on. Those are actually on the opposite side of this. This is a schematic. So we have a, for the blue, for instance, we have a 680 ohm resistor and two blue LEDs in series. And the same for the green and the red. We can cut here, here, or here. So if we cut here, we're cutting the red one out, so we're basically cutting here. If we cut here, we're cutting red and green, so we're cutting across both of these. And if we cut here, we're cutting all three, so we're cutting across to all three of these. My recommendation is, if possible, cut in the center because that way it, it keeps the LED colors balanced. So you've got one set of red, green, and blue and when you wrap the strip around whatever device you're wrapping it around, if you cut it here for instance, you may have two red LEDs together. And although it's a little more difficult to splice here, it actually is probably a little more aesthetic, and that's the reason you're doing it anyway, right? From here to here, we cannot cut. We can cut here, or here, or here. And these are the actual connections we have to remake. And it's going to be different for the 6-inch strip as well as the 4-inch strip. So I'm only showing the 4-inch. Different LED strips may be different. You're just going to have to look at it. But you also notice that these patches, these splices, are different depending on which strip you cut. 
So for example, if you cut it in the middle, for the red, you're on the bottom one, you skip one, and you're the next one up. Red up here is the bottom one, skip two, and then the next one up. So, you know, once you make the cut, you're going to have to kind of trace things out and probably would be best to take a piece of paper and a pencil and just kind of draw out where you got to connect these back together. I'll tell you, this does require a little bit of finessing and I've got my micro lens going here, so hopefully it'll make it a little easier to see. Now on the back side, there is a bit of uh, tape on here. So we want to do our best to get that tape off. And all we need to do is about the last inch or so. And these are the actual traces cut. And I don't want to go all the way through. And then I want to try to peel this back as much as possible. You can take your soldering pencil and you should be able to melt this. So whatever, and it does stink a little bit, by the way. So whatever's left, and you notice I'm using a piece of cardboard here on top of the table. So whatever's left, I'm just going to try to clean off a little bit. Get as much of this off as possible. So then really all we have is just the thinnest piece here. Let's start with blue. And when you trace this back, you'll see that these actually two adjacent traces are blue, or for the blue LED. And when we cut it, we actually interrupted the continuity between these two traces. But those two traces actually are right up here. So we want to take our little exacto knife and just lightly scrape those two traces. And you may get the wrong one, and that's fine. I mean, you can always do it over again. You just don't want to scrape through so much that you damage the uh, circuit. All right. So we've got those on. And what I'm going to do for this operation is i got some, some tape, and I'm just going to tape this down so it doesn't move. And then what I want to do is, and I need to clean my soldering, tip because I got it all gunky from the uh, from that membrane. And then what we want to do is just apply a little bit of solder and then just kind of work it in. And you can see there are two traces right there. And then we just want to put a little more in because what we want to do is just bridge the gap between those two traces like that. So that should fix the red one. So let's turn our power on. And it didn't do it, so we've got a little more work to do on it. So we want to interrupt that top trace and the second one. So we'll just put the soldering pencil on it again and just wipe it. And see how it wiped clean? So we actually want to go to the next trace. And we're dealing with very, very thin. So now we got the next one over, and let's try our power supply. We have the blue one lit, the other two to go yet. And so in the second case, the next strip down and it skips one, and then the strip after that. And what I found is the easiest way to do is to cut that center strip out, because otherwise you're going to get two colors on at the same time. So there I cut the center between the two that we need to splice out. And I need to tell you also that this can be frustrating and do not be surprised if you don't get it to work right the first time. Again, we'll just lightly touch these two. The only issue we have is this gap is too wide for us to fill in with solder. I just got a little chunk of uh, wire here and I just took one strand off it. So we're going to use that one strand and put that strand between the two. Cut that one off. Then we'll try it. So now we have the red one and the blue one on.
There we go, just got a little blob of solder there. And again, we'll try. There we go. We got all three LEDs. So now that we're done, I just like to use a little bit of white liquid tape. Cover it up like that. And so now when we redo our sign, you can see that I got the thing just right where it needs to be.